YouTube, what's up to all my shoe fanatics, man? Today is a special day. It's another review, and I'm super excited to talk about this one. I'm gonna take you back to 1989, and if you know, you know, it's the these you can buy. This is something you can buy. It's the Air Jordan 4 black cement bread things, man. And that these you can buy, that's the commercial that Spike Lee, aka Mars Blackman, ran when he and Jordan debuted this shoe back way back when, man. This is the shoe that Michael Jordan hit the famous shot to clinch that playoff uh, series over Craig Elo and the Cleveland Cavaliers, man. I know we've all been watching the Last Dance documentary, and this was the one that kicked it off uh, as far as his uh, ascension into greatness. And man, this is the shoe that for me started all of this. You know what I mean? This is the one that kicked off this passion, this disease, this sickness, whatever you want to call it. This fever I got for shoes, man, especially the Jordan brand. This was the one. This shoe I actually had the privilege of tripling up on when it first debuted back in May 2019. And like I said, I'm gonna get right back to it. This is the Air Jordan 4 Black Cement, AKA Bread, in all its fantastic glory. Man, I love this shoe. This is one of my top three shoes, I think. Like I said, I say things like that without ever having really put into a list, but man, this thing is immaculate and I love this shoe. I've worn this thing so many times. You can see the creases in the toe box there. You can see the dirt on the bottom of the shoe. This is just one of my grails. It's a favorite of mine. And man, the history and a lineage behind this shoe is just fantastic. Like I said, this shoe first debuted in 1989 um, and it's been retro several times since. But 2018 marked the return, oh, excuse me, 2019 remarked the turn of uh, some of the Hints that was more true to the original color, uh, yeah, the original cut of the shoe, especially some of the uh, cuts and um, the way the, the the materials cut matches 1989 better than the previous retros. In addition to that, it marks the return of the Nike Air on the on the bottom there, man. Oh, excuse me, on the back, and I just can't say enough. This is Chicago. This is Michael Jordan. This is Bulls through and through and through. Excellence, greatness, all put into one package. Uh, so I me mean, right into it the materials. It's got this nice uh, new buck on here, you know classic 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 feeling material uh, it's the Stuff that you know the icons and legends legends are made of so my previous um, uh, Shoe uh, reviews were done on the bread three oh, excuse me the Jordan three So now when this Jordan 4 came out Tinker Hatfield was once again the designer and he changed a few things up and the first thing he did was, as you can see, added this netting to the uh, bottom of the tongue, as well as on the side here. And that's just a, a slick touch. You can see that the eyelets uh, have been replaced with these uh, flaps here that have multiple eyelets in them. And that's on the top and on the bottom down here by the heel. The tab is just revised slightly to have a slight pull tab on the back of it. Again, I mentioned this one does have the Nike Air on it. This is when we start to see the flight come up on the tongue. And as you can see, it is the Jumpman logo with flight all on it. It's got this gray uh, sole down here with the air bubble visible. Coming around the backside with the obviously white, black, and red colorways that again are synonymous with Jordan and the Bulls. And here's the bottom with the Nike swoosh on the bottom. As you can tell, as I mentioned, rock my stock. I've got a lot of wear out of these things. It's just a phenomenal shoe. And the icon, I, the uh, just the, just how classic it is, man. I mean, I can't, I don't even have the words to really describe how this thing uh, sits in the sneak community. It's a must-have for any any collector. I'm gonna pull the, the tongue and a, the shoe tree out of here. Take these laces out just so you can get a look at the insole. And on the inside, it has the Nike Air on the uh, bottom of it. Hopefully, the camera can pick that up. And like the Jordan 3, because the silhouettes take cues from one another, you can notice that the back of the tongue does have Air Jordan written upside down. So I get that in there. So if you've seen my previous Jordan 3 uh, reviews, I mentioned that they did have a tag on the inside of the tongue that did read uh, numerous things. So as an example, my animal instincts say instinct, where this one does say uh, Air Jordan. Almost forgot to mention that this particular pair did come with this hang tag that I believe came with the original pair in 1989, which is really cool because Nike is always trying to find a way to add that nostalgia to keep it going. So even though Michael Jordan is no longer playing, 
what he always has going for him is his legacy, his greatness, the nostalgia that people feel when they saw him play, they can relive that through his products and his apparel. And that's no different than Nike including this hang tag in the box to give us some of that throwback vibes from 1989, just like my outfit. So hope you enjoyed that part. As I mentioned, I was able to pick these up in triplet when they first debuted. So Nike did make a lot of uh, pairs of these. And thankfully, uh, I was able to retain a pair and a couple of my homeboys needed some, so I actually sold them to, the, to them at cost. Um, but you know, this one, I, I, I wish I would have kept one just to, to put one on ice and one to rock. And so I kind of regret doing that, but you know, I'm gonna take good enough care of this one that should last me in the interim. As far as whether or not this shoe is available on StockX, yes, it obviously is. It is well above retail. I think it's somewhere maybe between 240 and 280. As I mentioned, the last dance documentary is out now. So it seems like every time a shoe comes out on uh, Jordan's feet in the documentary, the price skyrockets. Uh, we saw that especially with the Chicago ones that he wore in his last game in, in uh, Madison Square Garden. And this one is no exception. But this is absolutely, to me, worth paying above retail for. Now, if I recall, the shoe did come out for $200. Uh, it did actually because I remember paying two fourteen uh, with, with the tax, so I would pay up to about two fifty, two sixty for this shoe. I cannot lie. This is one of my favorite shoes of all time. It's one of my favorites in my collection, and I do believe that it is a must cop. It's something that every Jordan owner should have, and it is just an amazing shoe. You check out the great uh, interior right here. You know, I'm just running. I'm, I'm running out of things to say because the, the shoe should speak for itself to be just blatantly honest with you. Hopefully you get to see the on feet, so make sure you stick around to the end of the video. The on feet will show that you can put pretty much any shoe on, uh, excuse me, any outfit on with this, and it's going to shine, it's going to rock and roll, and that's going to do what it do. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Take a look at the on feet like I mentioned. Do me a favor, sh uh, like, share, subscribe, uh, hit that notification bell. Follow me on Instagram at J underscore shoe fanatic. And just take one more good solid look at this thing, man. You know what I mean? When I got this shoe, this was, especially because I hit on sneakers, that's what really made it special. I'm gonna tell a little story. I hit this shoe on sneakers, and that was the first feeling I got, the first exhilaration that I got from being able to hit on that app. And once you hit on that app, it's like taking a hit of some other stuff because you can never get enough. It never gets old. And that's what people come back to the sneakers app every Saturday for, to get that got em to get that and got him and got him and got him. And this was the one that kicked it off for me. So once I got this, it was only a matter of time for this whole entire thing that you see behind me start to fill up. And so hopefully you all have a shoe that inspires you or gets you going, that makes you feel that certain way. And if anyone asks you about Jacob's Shoe Fanatic, this was the one for me. So I'm signing off with that. Make sure you check the on feet. Write down in the comments, let me know about what the shoe was that got you going. Let me know what you think about the bread for, the black cement, and I'm out of here, man. Take it easy. Peace.